Previously on Power Play. I know about your indiscretions with a high-ranking member of this organization. Get her out and you have your job back. Well, I guess this is farewell. Goodbye. I want everything back. One thing at a time. Time running out on the steelheads. They could have clinched the playoff berth with a win over Edmonton tonight, but now it looks like they'll have to beat the powerhouse from Detroit. Hey, nice shot, Mark! Okay. So I was just wondering, are you regretting now what you did to Harry Strand? I mean, Hutchins is an okay assistant coach, but what were you thinking? What's up, coach? Come on. Hey. Sit him down, Hutchins. I'm not coming off. You gonna play the whole game by yourself? Hutchins, 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 ah. keep Simpson on! <sighs> Damn wits. I, I did do, I did nothing to Harry Strand, all right? No, you just put him in a hospital. Let's be accurate, Rose, shall we? It's not a hospital, it's a nut house. The steelheads are slow to ice a line and the referee is getting impatient. This, this There's beautiful. a lot of confusion on the Hamilton bench. You know what, it's really a shame. I think Strand would have won tonight. How do you feel? Do you believe that because of your personal feud with me? And Green okay. calls Hamilton for delay of game. Me? Sir. Are you kidding me? Take the penalty, buddy. Come on! Parker, he's making Todd serve that. Mark, tell him! Not Hutchins? Why are you making Thorpe serve it? Where'd you get Marshak to serve it? Are you out of your mind? No, I'm not out of my mind. And who's the coach here anyways? I don't know. Some knucklehead in a tie. You're ignoring me. You're harassing me. You are ignoring me. You are harassing me. Oh, please. Simpson, shorthanded, breaks in all alone. He shoots. Oh, it goes off the crossbar. That is going to hurt. If the Steelheads are going to make the playoffs, they now have to beat Detroit in the season ender. Any comments? Yeah, try not to look so satisfied. That's my comment. You know, I recall a time when you, when you used to love this team. No coach, no plan. I could have won the game, but what did I do, T, huh? What did I do? I ring it off the crossbar. So tell me, huh? What else can happen? Hey, hey, don't, don't say that, okay, Simpsy? I mean, Cher calls that tempting fate. If you say something's got to give, it just might, you know? Mark Simpson? No interviews, all right, pal? Let me get out of this gear. This is for you. What is it? Rayanne wants a divorce. Hello out there, we're on the air. It's hockey night tonight. Tension grows, the whistle blows, and the puck goes down the ice. The goalie jumps and the players bump and the fans all go insane. Someone roars, Bobby scores at the good old hockey game. Oh, the good old hockey game is the best game you can name. It's the best game you can name. Maybe not even at all. You do not hire Canadians. They don't know anything about hockey. I said, don't kill the amoral cutthroat rat. Iron. Morning, Mr. Mayor. Morning. I know that really screwed me. How could I screw you? I just got elected. Hey, you. When did you get a webcam? Last week. I thought you said they were uh, creepy. I'm a little nervous. What do I get for my money? Don't you know? I've been fighting these cases for 15 years. Make this as painless as possible for our client. We want them to be able to pay our bill when this is all over. It really happened, didn't it? Just cross the worlds. Between death and life. What's happening with your informant? It's been requested that I introduce you to another handler. You can say no. No. Country Canada. Proving that second time around is a gem. 
you know, it would have been good if uh, we won last night, because now we got to beat Detroit. Thanks for the insight, Einstein. Yeah, you're welcome. I was being sarcastic, Todd. So was I. Last time we played Detroit, I didn't get a single point. You got knocked cold, and we lost by five. Is, is that what happened? I always wondered. Now I got this divorce thing, and I don't know how I'm going to keep my head in the game, let alone lead anyone. The most important game of my life, and I'm a million miles away. I'm zoned right out. Plus, we got six guys without an agent, including you and I, all because Parker's GM again. Yeah, but you know, that's the one part I'm not worried about, because Parker's going to come up with some good ideas. You just wait. I'm here. Good morning. Let the bells ring out and the banners fly. Hey, how you doing? Renata, do you know what the best thing about me is? Never mind the best thing. I'm still trying to find a good thing. Oh, well, don't strain yourself. No, 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 no. Good morning. Excellent personal hygiene. I like that about you. I am a great lateral thinker. Messages, water, come. All right, but I'm sticking with the hygiene thing. Renata, when life hands you lemons, what do you do? Make lemonade. <laughs> Correct. Add gin, have a little party. That's right. So wait do you hear this. Oh, I get sick, regret it later. We're, we're done with that part now, OK? I had to give up the agency thing when I came back to the Steelheads, right? Right. So all those guys who depend on you. Will now make me even more money. Cha-ching, cha-ching. I need you to set up an auction for me. Why do I have a feeling I'll have to go to confession for this? I have six Hamilton Steelheads for sale, all right? Including Captain Canada himself. Mark Simpson. Mr. Parker, I think it's illegal to sell people. Yeah, they had a big civil war about it. I will deliver all six guys with bows on to any agency who will split the commissions back to me. I did a little uh, clause in the contracts making them assignable. <laughs> yeah, that has got to be illegal. No, the case law is obscure. Those are my five favorite words in the English language, by the way. The case law is obscure. <laughs> That's funny. OK, get all the big guys on it, all right? International, FPM, Goldbrook. Mansacorp. Oh, my son-in-law's agency. Wow, never thought of that. Uh, no, better not. I don't want him spitting in the soup. You know, that's why I work here, the beautiful imagery. Hey, don't forget your 11 o'clock. Oh, forget it. It is the high point of my day. Do you know what I'm going to say to Colleen? I'm going to say, we want the cup. All right? It's as simple as that. But here's the problem. We got Mark Simpson, Hamilton's sweetheart, our team captain, on the brink of a divorce. Poor guy, just been served his papers, for God's sake. So, why is everybody getting divorced these days? Ah, let him eat those TV dinners a while longer. He'll go back. Oh, I don't know. I heard there was another woman involved. I always came home uh, about a week after those tin trays. Uh, they weren't real mashed potatoes, either. Mind you, the apple crumble was often not bad. If a fella could remember to pick up ice cream. It all starts with the coaching, as it says so aptly in this morning's paper. Touche. <laughs> Listen, forget about this stuff, all right? This is all strictly personal. Rose Thornton does not know anything about anything. Especially men. But no matter what you think of her, she's right that you caused our coaching problem. I wasn't the one who put Strand in the hospital. It's a nut house, actually. What are you doing about a coach, Parker? Sweet mama. Uh -huh. It's got nothing to do with coaching. It makes no difference. There's one game left. It's the players who are going to win or lose. Well. Hutchins is sort of like a coach. Puts me in mind of Mint McKay. Poor guy couldn't merge. And Mint would be? Oh, Duff drove north with him to deliver the first sheet metal he ever rolled, right? Uh, pulled his rig off to fill it up with gas. Couldn't get back on the highway. I spent two days in Chalk River. That's where I learned to eat skunk. Oh, God. Anywho, listen. It's not about the coaching, as I was saying, OK? It's on the ice that we need the heat. Oh, would you look at the time? Six weeks past the trade deadline. <laughs> We don't need to trade, OK? We got 119 points right now sitting in the German League. Its name is Boris Kerensky. Boris the Bolshevik. He's still on our list? Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. We can't afford him. The Hockey News just named him the best player in Europe. That's right. Yes, I know. But we never signed him because he wants too much money. Didn't he just get 11 points in the first game out this season? Right again, against Dusseldorf, no less. Ooh, Dusseldorf. There's a powerhouse. Anyways, we're bone dry. I'll sign him for 3 million. Three million is our operating capital for all of next year. There's not going to be a next year if we don't win this last game. No playoffs, no money, no, no money, money, no, no team. team. Look, we all agreed, didn't we, that if we wanted to reacquire this team, we had to take some risks. Duff, if you do this, you are wiped out every cent. Well, it's not as well be eating cat food. I got a little personal squirreled away. Can you get Kerensky here on time? I traveled him last night. Oh, my God. This is nuts. 
Well, we don't have three million in Monopoly money, let alone blue jeans or machine guns or whatever else you pay Russians in these days. You would love to see a kid like that play in the flesh. Let's do it. Excellent decision. Tootles. Hey, Boris, cocktail. How you doing? Hey, how's the hotel? Oh, really? Well, you might not want to wander off too far, though. Now, listen, you're going to love it here, all right? It's just like Russia, only better. You know, you're going to be freezing your butt off, but you will not be lining up for a loaf of rye bread. I'm going to send the uh, papers over to you. Now you can sign them, OK? OK, OK. If you send papers, I read. Talk soon. All right. Don't speak on you. He's sending papers. And I will get you double his offer, or you can tear up your deal with me. And either way, you, uh, you keep the truck. I keep truck? You can keep anything you want to keep from now on. You're rep by Hudson James. Taxi. He he's in a taxi? What? Got a minute. <clears throat> Hud, hey, great to see family, always. Maybe have Renata set something up for us, OK? Because I'm just a little busy. No, not you. I, wh who the hell told you to put him into a taxi? Beca because I left explicit instructions for you to leave him there. That's why. Whatever. Trouble? Trouble shall not trouble me. Well, it just sounds like you uh, kind of lost someone. No, no, just a player. A uh, foreign player? Nope, <laughs> all Canadian, no big deal. So it's not Kerensky? Which Kerensky? Well, the one you flew in from Germany. Oh, that Kerensky. Yeah, my client, Kerensky. The one I'm going to get six mil for. Hello? Are you signing for us, Kerensky? No, yes, I'm not. Yes, he is. Hmm. I were talking, yeah. Well, a deal is imminent. And how can you afford a, a great big deal like that? And how could you think I'd answer anything from you, Miss Personal Issues, leak into her Oh, they don't leak in, Mr. Mm. Mr. Uh, evil seducer of innocent people. He does, OK? He does seduce innocent people. Hey, refresh my memory, okay? Some guy marries your teenage daughter. You're allowed to chop his arms and legs off. That's legal, right? Mm -hmm. Only in the Yukon. <sighs> my trouble with Hudson? No, no. Nothing I can't handle. How are the auction arrangements going? Oh, still arranging. Okay, well, speed that up. Already? So tell me, will I go to prison for this? Hey, that is a that is a small price to pay, okay? I can't see myself in all that dinner. Look, I, I have to leverage my son-in-law, Renata. He, he wants six million dollars for current Six million dollars, and, and, and Colleen is not going to give me three? So? So, so I'm going to dangle six new steelhead clients in front of his face, okay? And he's going to cut me some slack on the Russian boy. And why is that? Why? Because we're going to get the auction going with the other agencies. We're going to make him believe that he's going to lose out, and then he's going to become more reasonable. Oh, God, I'm good. And you want to hear what the best part is? Mm, I never want to know the best part. Oh, come on. Hey. The best part is the best part. The best part is, is that he's going to think he found this out himself because I'm not going to tell him, I'm going to tell Michelle. So you're going to use your daughter to trick her husband into getting less money for his client than he should. The beauty is in the simplicity. You know, Yeah. when you finally face all this, mm -hmm. the therapy bills are going to be staggering. Yeah, the bills. Call your plant. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> to what do I owe this honor? Oh, no honor. I was uh, just in the neighborhood and thought I'd drop by. Ooh, lemons. Dad, you drove 30 miles. Mm. Yeah, I did, didn't I? <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what it is? I just, um, I thought it'd be better if I just shared this with you up front. And oh, God, it's nothing. Uh, Hudson and I are kind of competing on something, and I just didn't want you to panic about it. And that's all. That's it. <laughs> the two of you competing. What a novelty. I just didn't want you to think that I was angry with him or, or anything like that. Well, why would you be angry with him? I'm not angry at all. It's just that he's, he's basically holding us to ransom on this Kerensky guy, this Russian player, who's, uh, you know, very important to uh, my future and, uh, and to the dreams of millions of people in the city of Hamilton, but... Hamilton has millions of people? <laughs> Where are they? Invest? Subterranean caverns? I just didn't want him to hold it against me when I couldn't pass my, my package to him. That's all. Well, I love these countertops. What package? Hmm? Package? Oh, I can't talk about that, honey. Sorry. Anyway, I'm gonna go. You can't stay? No, I gotta go. I gotta go work on this package thing. I got these six uh, steelhead clients. Anyway, they, they used to be my clients. And now I gotta figure out who should represent them and all that. Right. All righty. <clears throat> 
<laughs> the funny thing is, if you add up commissions on these six guys, it ends up being like way more than HUD would ever make on Kerensky anyway. So I, I feel bad for the guy. And I just wanted you to know, you know, in case that he was... Uh, upset. Yeah, upset, you know, because I felt bad. Well, thanks for the heads up. Oh, God, honey, that's all right. Yeah. All right. Mwah. Oh, enter. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Blondie? You know, sang out Hong Kong. Oh, I know it. Yeah. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> it means always working in Chinese. Ah, you speak Chinese? No, but I'm a very mysterious person. <laughs> so I've noticed. Excuse me, can I get a Canadian? Thanks. I, um, heard about your divorce. I'm sorry. Thanks. I'm just so tired, you know? Yeah. You want to talk about it? No. Yeah, sure. I've been gunning for this moment for about 30 years now. I finally get another shot at the cup, and <laughs> I'm on the floor. I'm useless. The guys are freaking out, you know, they think I'm gonna snap. Well, you won't snap. You're gonna win against Detroit. I know it. It's just coming at me from all angles. You know? The game, the divorce, no coach. You see what they're saying about Parker in the paper, right? Huh? Yeah, it's awful. It is? Well, yeah, I mean, it's just so personal. Rose is mad because Brett broke up with her, so she attacks him over this. Wait a second. Brett broke up with her? Yeah, he did. You call him Brett now? No, I call him Parker. <laughs> I heard Brett. No, I call him Parker. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. My point is... That... I'm waiting for this. <laughs> My point is that a coach is a management problem. I should be able to think that through. Well, I got an idea for you, Goldilocks. What's that? Shaky out. Trombley? The man himself. But he's never coached. Yeah, he's coaching for your farm team in Sherbrooke right now. Yeah, but he's a goaltending coach. That's true, but look, the guys know him. He's intense. He may not work out for a whole year, maybe a game or two, maybe a series or two. You think about it. I will. Hey, love. Hey. Mm. Ah. So, any messages? Dad came over. That's not a message. It's more like an omen. I bet he talked about Kerensky, didn't he? Well, he tried to make it look like that's not what he was here for, but um, uh -huh. I think what he was saying was that he'll help you sign all the steelheads that he reps if you lighten up on the Kerensky deal. So what? He's selling them as a package? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, man, that is completely unethical. Mm, my dad behaving unethically. I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> I bet he made their contracts assignable. Yeah, I bet he wants a kickback on it, too. Well, he didn't mention that. Well. <laughs> no, buddy, you're not listening. Well, listen to what I'm telling you, okay? What I'm telling you is that I got six of them, and I can tie them up together. Yeah. No, you take care of me, and uh, I deliver them to you. Huh? Friday. The auction is Friday morning, and we are starting at 2% of the commissions coming back to me. No, 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 but you know what? <laughs> Listen, we never say those words. No, we never say kickback. I said don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say kickback. What do we say? We say finder's fee. Bye. Hutchins isn't around, and uh, his office is empty. We're better off. Yeah. Hey, old man. Get your buttocks in gear. <laughs> I can't believe she did it. CQ! Coach Trable to you. Man, welcome back, Shaky. Good to see you, buddy. Tabarnak! Hey, Shaky. Strand's last practice was in French. Careful, they might cart you off, too. <laughs> Skate. What's up? Can't take a joke anymore? Hey, uh, Shakes, we got an hour left to practice. If he skates, he's gonna be in the way. Then all of you can skate. 40 circuits. Aww. Do it! Oh. 
Chuck. Well, I see the vultures are gathering. <laughs> well, can I uh, swoop in and talk to you for a second? No, I don't think so. Because I'm pretty sure I don't like you. Well, uh, cool. Because I am driven by mutuality, and I'm not sure I like you either. So, you know, it sort of gives me a comfort zone. You don't like me. <laughs> and I hardly even know you. And even then, what's not to like? I mean, Mark Simpson, local hero. Mark Simpson, steelhead legend. Mark Simpson, aging guy with slowing skills who has to look out for himself like never before. Watch your mouth, Ace. Yeah, listen, that's what you're asking me to like if you're, you know, talking business. Am I talking business? Well, you're talking to me, aren't you? Not anymore. Okay, listen, you don't like me. I don't like you. I mean, we're not married. Is this supposed to be cute? I've had enough of this marriage thing, all right? Besides, you got a game to think about. Yeah, exactly. So let's just think about that. You have one game. One game left, one game against Detroit, who are what, only godly at this moment, and you have no coach. And you are in the biggest slump of your career. I mean, you have problems, dating problems, Mr. Simpson. And if the wind blows through here, no, no, when the wind blows through here, and this team is out of Hamilton, you and five of your best friends are gonna be with no agent to protect them. I mean, that is what I see standing in front of me. So let me guess, Ace. We're supposed to sign with you, right? That would be my best advice. Why? Why you and not somebody else? Well, Captain Simpson, I will tell you why. Because somebody else isn't standing here. Just me. And there's not a lot of time left on the clock. Or, you know, you can just go wherever Brett Parker tells you to go. I mean, does that sound wise? Mr. Al Trombley. Hi. Hello, Parker. Well, what are you doing here? You come to cheer the boys on, huh? Nice. I'm the new head coach. In Sherbrooke, congratulations. That's a great gig. I'm a little late, all right? In Hamilton. Hamilton. Oi. Ontario? Oi. On this team. You got it. Well, what the... Okay. Come here. Sorry. No, I am... Um, listen, I'm, uh, it's not that I'm not uh, glad to see you and everything. I am. I'm very happy to see you, and you, you, you look great, and... But who, what the hell's going on? I might ask you the same question. Why? Last time I looked, you were my agent. Yeah, okay. I've been a little slow calling people. Don't change the subject. Who called you? Why? It was Colleen, wasn't it? Right? What do you care? Oh, come on. You know, of course, you've never spent a single game behind the bench. Have you, Al? No, no, no. Not, not in Bantam, not in Junior, not in big-time hockey either. You're about the coach guys who were your friends just a few short months ago. You got nothing to work with but Harry Strand's playbook. And Martians couldn't work with that playbook. And, Al, if you don't win the game tomorrow night, I mean, win it, this entire franchise, it disappears into pixie dust. Everything that I have sweated blood for all this time just goes off into the wind. Otherwise, it's great to see you, and you do look great. And it was Colleen, wasn't it? What was Colleen? Who hired you, Al? Who hired you without telling me? Oh, God. Hello, hello. You know what, Parker? Hmm. I think that I'm going to need some more space down at the Spectator now that you're in charge. And I use that term very, very loosely. Hi. Just tell me it was Colleen, right? It was? Yes, it was Colleen. I knew that. Okay, that's all I need to know. Welcome, Monsieur Tremblay. Bienvenue. Don't wreck my life, okay? Try to treat the new coach fairly, all right? Miss would know fairness if it grabbed her by the butt. Oh, and what would you know about fairness, Mr. Mr. Treat people like compost? What? What he, he does sometimes. Treat people like compost. It's beware. You went behind my back. And the surprises you become. No, 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 you know, that's fine. I mean, Al can't be any worse than Harry's cake boy. That's not the point. What is? The point is that you got your guy, so I should get mine. The Kerensky deal, it's become a little richer than initially anticipated. How much richer? Uh, what do you care? You're out there wasting money on Al Tremblay behind my oh. back when we need every penny that we've got. Well, I told you that we needed a coach. And I told you a coach is going to make no difference. A scorer will. So give me Kerensky. Seems to me we need a player and a coach. I agree. She's got a point. If we're going to do this thing, let's do it right. When we miss the playoffs, we lose everything anyway. There's that we again. How much does Kerensky want, Parker? It's six million. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I didn't think I missed anything about you, but there is your sense of humor. Okay. I need this, Colleen. I don't care what you need. I've noticed that. You've made that very clear. Parker, this is not about us. 
Oh, please. It's all about us. No, it's not. It's about what's right for the team. Well, then good. Kerensky is what's right for business. No Kerensky, no playoff money, no, no money, money, no, no team. team. That's right. Mm -hmm. Six million? Come on. That's nothing against the future. I won't give it to you. Well, then it is about us. You won't give it to me because you can't give me anything. Even when you should. No, you can't give anything to anybody. I'll give you five seconds before I deck you. Well, there you go. At least I'd be getting something from you. Good for you. Hello. Hey, Bondi. Oh, hi, Mark. Um, this isn't a good time. Listen, how about a drink? Oh, I don't know. I've got a lot of work to do. I really think I should just stay here and get it done. Look, I really need you right now, all right? So just come on, give me something. Anything. Give me something, all right? Well, Mark, I mean, it's not that I don't want to. I mean, I want to. I just... All right. Yeah, sure. Um, what's your room number? little thing. I... Let me see if I can find it. Oh, no, I mean, the thing is, is that I paid attention to uh, signs. What signs? My foot got caught on the lamp and it broke. Those aren't signs. Those are accidents. <sighs> okay. I'll bite. What are they signs of? Oh, God. I'm gonna hate this. <laughs> <laughs> Not as much as I will. They are signs that um, what we're doing isn't right. Shoes don't know right from wrong. N neither do lamps. And neither do we. <sighs> Look, if you don't want to be here, all you have to do is tell me. You know, don't hide behind this lamp shoe thing. This is wrong, Mark. Wrong. I'm getting divorced. So what? You love your wife. So what? So what? You're in love with Parker. It's not slowing me down. Well, it should. Oh, God, I I didn't I didn't mean that. I meant that. Uh... Ah, I, I don't know what you mean. No, what I mean is that if that's what you believe, then you shouldn't be here with me, even if you're wrong, but you are. Because I wouldn't really be with you, even though I would be with you, assuming that you didn't love your wife, which. You do, because I absolutely do not love <laughs> Brett Parker. No matter what you think. Do you know what I think? What? I think we need a drink. Yeah. A really big drink. Woo! All right, baby. No olives, no twists. No mix. <laughs> Mr. Over here. Skål. <laughs> There's a game on Sportsnet. Good idea. <laughs> well, aren't I the perfect date? <laughs> you don't make out, but you get to watch hockey. <laughs> The perfect Canadian date, anyway. Good 
And action. <laughs> Look at that expression. That'll be the perfect final shot for my little uh, docudrama here. What are you doing? <laughs> the tentative title of my little docudrama is uh, How the Team President Sapped the Captain's Strength Just Before the Big Game. Oh, God. Oh, it's very cinematic, too. I've got some wonderful stuff, darling. If Colleen arrives at the hotel, and Colleen goes up to the room, and Colleen greet her at the door. Very cinematic. Parker, you are truly disgusting. No, thank you. Zoom in, zoom out. <laughs> zoom in. All right, here's the deal, all right? You give me the money to sign Kerensky, or uh, I go and tell Duff about you and Mark Simpson. What's it going to be? Well, there's no money left but Duff's personal holdings. Fine, I'll take them. Uh-oh, oh, tracking shot. I mean, what's the difference? Either the team gets the money or Samantha does. So what's it going to be? Are you going to give me Kerensky, or am I going to go and tell Duff about how you spent your evening? Oh, just before I go to the Hamilton Spectator. That won't hurt me. Oh, but it'll ruin Mark. Ooh, yeah. Fifteen years of clean living blown in a single night of dirty love with the bottle blonde who is his boss. That's a nice title, too. Parker, this isn't a joke. Hang on. Hang on. Rewinding. <laughs> That's great. That's wonderful. Zoom in. Zoom out. I was trying to get your, your good side there, but you don't have one, so... Do you realize I was comforting a friend, No, Parker. you were using a friend to make yourself unavailable to me. Oh, my God. What? You think this is about you. No. I mean, you think everything I do is still about you. Oh, you said that, not me. I mean, you you actually think this is about you, you narcissistic little... Okay, okay, careful. Don't make me use my little movie. You should seek immediate help. Papa. Oh, yeah? And what about a person who loves someone and all it does is make them wild with fear? Stop thinking of yourself. I'm thinking about the team, Colleen. Oh. You remember them? Yeah, the Steelheads. They need to win this last game or it's over here in Hamilton. Kerensky is the best shot that they have, and so I'm going to give that to them. I'm going to give that to them if I have to set the people in my way on fire. And that's where you are, Colleen. You're in my way, and you're fit for burning. So you let me have what I want. You give me Kerensky, or you let Mark Simpson dangle, and that's your choice. Have a nice night. You are the most selfish person I have ever met. You cannot think about anyone but yourself. Colleen, if I really thought about myself, I would walk into the lake until I drowned. Duff, I am telling you, we cannot bring Kerensky in. Corporately, we just don't have the money. I do, personally. Oh, Duff, that's your three million. Well, it's more like 5.2 if you know where to look. Darling, don't be foolish. You never, never use your own money. You know, I never thought I'd hear myself say this, but I actually agree with Samantha Duff. What does it matter what account it comes out of? It's for the team. That's the important thing. Well, that'll take everything you've got. Yep. To the penny. Do it, Coco. But Duff... Duff, don't you want to have, well, keep some kind of plan for the future? Well, the playoffs start on Tuesday. That's my plan for the future. I only hope the boys are ready. Alphonse. Yes. Oh, Mr. McArdle. Oh, no, no, no. Keep working. Handy things, those boards. Touch complicated, though, right? Strand used them. Uh, there would the guys know. Well, Strand might have used them, sure. The, the steelheads know them. Of course not. So, uh, what were they for? What the hell's anything for, Monsieur Tremblay? Belief. You should hear how Parker believes in me. Oh, well, talking to Parker about belief is like talking to a blind man about a rainbow. Yeah, but he's right. I have no business coaching here. I'm... I'm not a leader. Sometimes leading is nothing more than believing. I remember when I was a youngster, sitting watching a, a tie cats game. Snow was coming down so hard you wouldn't see the pigskin if a bitch in the ass. Not that there's much life in the pigskin. The pig itself will bite you in the ass. Oh, sure. My mother had a story concerning that very thing. Oh, she was a fine woman, Alphonse. 
That was my father's name, you know. Al? No, Fonts. She made home brew in tomato cans, gave it a fruity flavor. Huh. Handsome woman, too. Looked a bit like Lotta Hitchmanova. Excuse me, Mr. McCarter, I have to think of what I'm going to tell the guys. Uh... I was looking out over that football field. Snow coming down like promises from the NDP. Players couldn't see a thing. Playbook meant nothing. Strategy was impossible. But they played until they bled and fell. And I learned something that day that stayed with me for the rest of my life. People want to be their best. And it's your job to give them the freedom to do that. Now drink that down before it gets warm. Yes, see. <clears throat> uh, okay. Uh, when uh, my father died, I, I was young and, uh, and and I thought my dream died with him. I had nobody to play with because. Uh, we lived so far in the country from Sorel. So my mom took shots on me. All winter, all summer, over and over. I got here because someone else shared my dream. All of us got to this room, this night, this, this chance because of those around us. No matter what we want, we will never get it by ourselves. We need other people to complete us. And that's why I'm here. I share your dream. We can beat Detroit. This is our game. game for the Steelheads tonight. They must beat Detroit to make the playoffs. Where's Samantha? Oh, she said she's not feeling too well. Shame she's not going to see the game. Duff, maybe... Oh, quiet. Chance now for Hamilton. They move the puck up. Lead pass for Boris Kerensky, the newest Steelhead. He skates around the defense, but oh, that one just fails. Steelhead slide the puck in. Detroit now in possession. They're following the puck in and around behind the net. Simpson follows it, takes his man hard against the board. He's playing well tonight. Simpson moves in front, waiting in front of the... Oh, it could be a long night for the Hamilton. Puck. Here's a breakdown for Kerensky, coming down the wing. In all alone, he stick handles in on the goalie. And oh, a beautiful backhander, a goal by... Boris the Bolshevik. What a goal. Kerensky proves he's worth all the cash. For Detroit. Corhone coming up the middle. Snaps a shot away. Jackie McCloud makes the save. And oh, Mark Simpson is loud from behind. He goes into the net and jumping in right away. Number 22, Todd Maplethorpe. He's voicing a complaint. Brooks, get ready. It looks like we've got the makings of a good old-fashioned Donnybrook. Simsy, Simsy, Marshak, get over here. Okay, good stuff, but uh, I I'd like to take you out and try Kerensky at the wing, okay? Is that good for you? Oh, Let's try that, huh? Coach Al Trombley has shaken things up. He's put the newest steelhead, Kerensky, on the same line as veteran Captain Simpson. To the point, Kerensky controlling the shot. Deflected by Simpson, they score! Yes! The steelheads oh, have done it! Mark Simpson deflecting perfectly a shot from the point. Oh, that was very close, but we did it. It worked. We're still alive. Thank you. I'm glad. Man, you know, Renata, they come at you. They come at you from all sides. They try to kill you, but you beat them down. You beat them down. You beat them down. You beat down those little creeps like Hudson James. You beat them down, you turn around, you roll them over. Let's see if the Hudster gets in on the auction now. Hey, maybe I'll give the old man a call. Tell him how Junior blew it. There is no auction. And now that the Steelheads are winners, the package price skyrockets. Uh, cha-ching, uh, uh, cha-ching. The guy's already signed. What guys? The guys. The guys are gonna sell, like, so much meat, Simpsy Todd. 
Everyone they signed with someone else before the game. What? Hudson James. Yeah, oh yeah, he had a great pitch too. <laughs> Don't do what Parker wants. <sighs> hey, good job. <laughs> hey boys, you're looking good out there. <laughs> hey. Uh, hello, Bondi. <sighs> I've been saving this for a special occasion, so congratulations. Well, thank you. But no thank you. I'm not touching bubbly till we win the cup. Oh, okay. You know, if I wasn't married and you weren't in love with somebody else... Then I'd find some other reason why it wouldn't work. See you later, Mark. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Good game. Yeah. Mark? No, it's... It's none. Is that who you're saving the champagne there for? Not anymore. Listen. Said you got a minute? Nowhere to go. Yeah, not me either. Uh, look, it's just about the Kuransky thing. About how I made you give me the money and all that. Okay, I just wanted to tell you that, uh, you know, that was, or I was, uh... Wrong. Wrong, yeah. No, you weren't. You won the game. Yeah, no, I know, but, uh... You know, I've been thinking, you know, I don't know what it is with me. It's, it's just like I... I don't know, I don't know when to stop or something. I, you know, I, it's like I, I have no boundaries or... And I've got too many. So what? S so, you know, maybe I should try to, you know... Maybe I shouldn't be like that. Parker. I am five foot six. All my life, I wanted to be 5'10", but I'm not, and there's nothing to be done about that. Now you're standing here telling me that you wish you were, what, um, simple? <laughs> Easy? Honest? Yeah, yeah, all, all that, I guess. Well, you're not, and you never will be. You are someone who gets lost in the struggle. You fight, and you fight, and in the end, you've forgotten what it's all about because all you really came for, all you really care about is the fight. And I know this because I am like that, too. Yeah, I know you are. At least you win sometimes. It's more than I do. Yeah, you really think that I've won? Sure. Yeah, you made all of us win. The team got what it needed. Duff has a chance to survive. You threatened me. You blackmailed me, but the right thing happened in the end. So, compared to that, what goes on between you and me doesn't matter. It does to me. Please. I've been thinking about you. You know, I've, uh... Hey, I thought about you enough to come here, didn't I? And, uh, you know, to, you know. Apologize? Apologize, yeah. So there you go. I should tell you something right there. Well, well. Listen to you. <laughs> Maybe I will reach five foot ten after all. You really think that you never win? <laughs> I don't know. I guess I win on things that I don't really care about. But nothing that really matters. Oh. Well, maybe we should talk about that. Hey, we could uh, open up this magnum here. No. No. Hey, um, 
Speaking of bottles, I am not a bottled blonde. Thank you very much. This is real. I know, I know. Cross the boundary again. See you tomorrow. Hey, you didn't say Parker. What? You usually say I'll see a Parker. You call me Parker. And I never really liked it anyway. Yeah, I know. Good night. How about Brett? Don't no, press your luck. You could call me Brett. You could say my name. <laughs>